My name is Usi Wilma Bugo, and I am an oculoplastic surgeon, also a reconstructive surgical specialist. Thyroid eye disease is an autoimmune condition where your body mistakenly attacks the muscles as well as the fat behind the eye. This can lead to inflammation such as redness, irritation, and in some patients, they can even develop scarring. Thyroid eye disease causes visible as well as non-visible symptoms that can affect your everyday life. Actually, thyroid eye disease and Graves' disease are different, but they can be related diseases. Graves' disease is also an autoimmune condition, but in this case, the body mistakenly attacks the thyroid gland. This leads to an overproduction of hormones, leading to a condition called hyperthyroidism. Up to 40% of patients who have Graves' disease may develop thyroid eye disease. Because thyroid eye disease affects the muscles as well as the fat behind the eye, you can have various signs and symptoms. Eye bulging, double vision, light sensitivity, redness, irritation, pressure, and pain. Because these conditions can be related, it is important to connect with your healthcare team as soon as possible to take care of any issues that may arise with either of these diseases. Women are more likely than men to develop TED or thyroid eye disease. We don't actually know what causes thyroid eye disease or TED. What we do know is that there are certain conditions that can put you at a greater risk for developing TED. Having a current or previous history of Graves' disease, having a family history of Graves' disease or Hashimoto's, being a woman, being a smoker, as well as being in your mid-40s or older. In a natural or a normal state, our body is able to distinguish between our natural body cells versus a foreign body cell, such as bacteria. That is not the case with thyroid eye disease. In the past, we thought that thyroid eye disease was split into two different phases, an acute or active phase followed by a chronic inactive phase. Now we know that the signs and symptoms of thyroid eye disease can wax and wane with time and they can vary in severity. And because of this, it's really important to make sure that you are connected with your thyroid eye disease specialist so that we can treat any signs and symptoms as they occur. The first thing that I would tell you is that you are not alone. A lot of my patients express that the thyroid eye disease is affecting their activities of daily living. I think that it is absolutely important to have a community that is going through what you're going through, to have a support system to lift you up when you're struggling, as well as to make sure that you find a thyroid eye disease specialist who can help you to find the most effective treatment plan possible. Thyroid eye disease is not curable, but it is treatable. The longer that you leave your thyroid eye disease untreated, it can have a negative impact on the course of the disease. That is why it is vital to connect with your thyroid eye disease specialist as soon as you have any signs or symptoms so that we can get you on the most appropriate treatment plan as soon as possible. There actually is a lot that you can start to do right now. For example, if you have light sensitivity, make sure that you have sunglasses nearby. If you are a smoker, you need to stop smoking. And finally, if your eye care provider has started you on an eye care treatment regimen, you need to stick to it in order to achieve the best results possible. 
With thyroid eye disease, you can also develop some swelling behind the eye. When this happens, the eye can actually move forward and this can cause double vision. It can also lead to redness and irritation. Your eyes can become misaligned. You can have problems with depth perception as well as issues with balance. In extreme or rare cases, patients can actually develop decreased vision over time. That is why it is absolutely crucial to connect with your thyroid eye disease specialist as soon as you develop any signs or symptoms of thyroid eye disease so that we can treat it appropriately, quickly, and efficiently. My advice to patients is that you need to have open and frank conversations with your doctor about all the signs and symptoms that you're experiencing because there are a lot of different treatment options available. Thyroid eye disease can affect a lot more than your eyes. It can affect your confidence as well as your emotional well being. I always say that patients need to practice mindfulness. This can mean you can practice meditation, deep breathing exercises, prayer, whatever you practice, there typically is an app for that. There are some tips that I sometimes recommend to my patients. The first one is to shop at stores that you know well. This helps you to be able to get in and out quickly if you need to. And then remember to try to shop at off peak hours. So if you want to take your time, you can take your time. If you are visiting a hotel, make sure to have a towel ready to cover your pillow to help prevent dust from getting in your eyes. If you're having a symptom such as light sensitivity, you want to make sure that you have your sunglasses readily available for you in multiple different locations. And then finally, if you are started on an eye care routine and you have some eye drops, make sure that they are handy for you whenever you may need it. Thyroid eye disease is a chronic autoimmune condition, and that means that even if it is treated, you can sometimes have flare-ups or reoccurrence of the disease. Triggers for this include stress, hormonal changes, as well as surgeries around the eye.